I filmed this video once already. I got to the second to last box and realized that I wasn't even recording. So we're going to go back through everything again. Um, I wasn't originally intending to make this video. However, I felt like it'd be pretty cool to show you guys the parts that we ordered for Project Wilson. Talk to you a little bit about uh, how and where we're going to use them in the boat. And then just to see everything come from like out of these boxes into what the boat's going to look like in its final stages. I feel like it's going to be a pretty cool thing to see. So it's not everything, but a very good majority of the boat is here. So right off the bat, we can see the trolling motor, live well, that should be in a box, but whatever. And then we got some hydro turf over here, which we'll get to in a second. Also the carpet, the carpet actually plays a role. All oh, that is uh, just regular indoor outdoor carpet from Home Depot, I think is where I got that. Obviously there's hydro turf right here, so we're not gonna be using carpet as our flooring material. But if I was to go that direction, I'll leave a link to that uh, down below as well as all the rest of these products will be linked in the description. But if you're looking for good carpet for your boat, definitely go with the 20 ounce or the 16 ounce marine grade carpet. You'll be much happier with that stuff. Then this, like I said, this is just going on the bunks. Those need replacing every once in a while anyways. So that's what we're going to use. But over here to start off with, we have a 24 volt Minn Kota Maxim. This is not a new motor. Uh, this was bought used off Facebook Marketplace, which you can find really good deals on stuff like this now on there. A lot of guys are upgrading to either the Garmin or the Lowrance. So stuff like this, you can usually find at a really good price. So keep that in mind. Always check Facebook Marketplace. Back behind here, we have three sheets of uh, four by 10 sheets of aluminum. And we have two different sizes here. We have two 090s right here, and we have one 050 in the back. The 090s are for the subfloor and the decking material, and the 050 is for any of the vertical areas like in the cockpit or somewhere you want to like close off compartment-wise. We have 32 feet of 6-gauge wire, marine-grade wire right here. We have 100 feet of 14-gauge uh, duplex and 20 feet of 8-gauge. Uh, marine grade wire as well. Over here we have uh, 1,000 countersink rivets and 200 standard rivets. And as our framing material, we have 25 sticks of one and a half inch angle aluminum and four sticks of uh, one and a quarter inch aluminum tubing. Aluminum tubing is for the vertical supports, the one and a half inch angle, is for obviously all of our framing. Right here. These are the drain tubes for the lids. We'll kind of get to that a little bit later on, but that's what these are. This is a live well by Nate's Custom Boats and Accessories. It's an 18 gallon uh, live well. The measurements on it are 12 by 30 by 12. It's stamped in the bottom so all the water will will run to the center and that center hole is designed perfectly to fit the flow right fitting which we'll get to that a little bit later on in the video. Here we have the the LED lights for the deck and for uh, the compartments. This kit comes with three of the four inch utility lights, four of the 12 inch uh, light strip lights and two of the 24 inch light strip lights. You can get this obviously in different colors. You can get them in white, blue or red. Uh, this is the white. In this bag right here, we have the struts. These are the 100N struts. Comes with all the hardware. I did buy a few extras of these simply because we're running some rather large size lids in this build. And I'm, I'm really thinking I'm gonna need two of these for a couple of the lids. We got the, we got the uh, Johnson bilge pump. 1,000 gallon per hour. Uh, I'm probably gonna add another one of these to this boat, obviously for safety reasons. Right in here, we got two seven by seven inch pedestal seat mounts. Obviously one for the front, one for the rear. I'm not a fan of uh, seats in my boat, but a lot of people do. A lot of you guys kind of get uh, concerned on how to mount these and how to make them secure. 
So I'm really excited to show you guys uh, when we install these. Ah, the latches. Okay. These are the White Cat brand latches. We went with black on black. They have a bunch of different colors, like the white outside, chrome handle, chrome handle, black outside, locking, non-locking, all kinds of different, different variations of uh, this product. We only have five lids, so we have five latches. Oh, next up, this bad boy from Flowrite. This is the Flowrite Premium Kit. You get one big bag of parts. You can see we have the uh, 800 gallon per hour pump. All of our quick disconnect fittings. The cables in here for the three-way valve. That's your timer. The valve, the three-way valve right there. And the little, uh, I guess, you, I, I don't know, I call this thing a spigot. Nah, there's some name for it. It's not spigot. We also have the uh, three-quarter inch uh, black tubing and the inch and the eighth. This is your overflow, the larger one and one eighth. And then the three quarters pretty much used for the rest of the entire system. It's very simple, a little expensive, but it's simple. Right here we got, oh no. Okay, pour foam. This is part B and part A. Two part, two pound density pour foam. This is what we're going to be using in the subfloor you know, the rod locker tubes, anywhere that we can kind of get away with adding a little bit more reserved buoyancy to the boat. So right here we have a very large box. And inside that box are a bunch of those. I'm not gonna tear into that big box right now because I really don't want to open all that stuff up and have stuff getting dirty. But look at this. This is one of the lids, powder coated black all the way around. You can get these powder coated in any color. Mostly what you see is just the black, but uh, we also sent out a, a white one not too long ago and it looked really good as well. But we can get these powder coated in any color. You just gotta let us know. But yeah, I really like, I really like the black powder coat. Like it looks, it looks really good. This is the drain port right here for these lids. And that's what this tubing's for. Tubing goes in there. You gotta kind of finagle it in there. And then the other one runs to the channel in your subfloor. So yeah, there's just a bunch of these lids inside there. A bunch of different, you know, sizes, measurements, all that. All right, so here it is, the last box, the HydroTurf. I know you guys have been waiting on this. Actually, we're going to we're going to wait on that. I'll show you guys the color that we're going with uh, soon, but for right now, we're going to kind of keep this under wraps.